hello everyone and welcome to this new video on uh, surveying today I'm going to explain some principles on leveling what are the equipment used for leveling exercise how to set up the level how to make a reading on a leveling staff and the principle of calculating the elevation of any unknown point so let's get started leveling is a process by which the differences in heights between two or more points can be measured here in the UK the heights are measured relative to the ordinance datum because of that you will see in the references the term AOD which means above ordinance datum the ordinance state datum is the mean sea level so the reduced level of a point for example would be 127.505 meters AOD above the mean sea level some references would use the term reduced level some references will use the term elevation of a point or the height of a point all of them are okay and mostly I will use the term reduced level in this video the equipment used for leveling are very simple in fact the instrument itself which is called level that would be mounted on a tripod like this and then we need to set up the level accurately over the tripod let's see the different parts of the level we have here in the bottom leveling screw we have three of them this is the first one and we have another one here and one here they are in the back we can't see them from this angle so we have three leveling screws this would be used to level the instrument so that we will bring the bubble here into the center of the circle here we have a circle and we have a, a little circle inside guys and then there is a bubble when you move these screws the bubble will be moved around here and then we will we are going to adjust these screws these three leveling screws until we bring this bubble into the center of the circle once this bubble in the center of the circle that means the instrument is being leveled and it's ready now for collecting some measurements and here we have an eyepiece you will look through this eyepiece here this is the line of sight you will look through here and inside of course we have some lenses and this screw would be used to focus on a specific target if you are sighting something of your interest like leveling staff so we have a screw here to focus in or out until you see this point that you are sighting clearly and also we have here a screw for slow motion horizontally if you would like to move the level horizontally uh, slowly you can use this screw as well so these are the main parts of the level so the most important thing guys that after you mount the level on the tripod you need to make sure that it is leveled accurately by bringing the bubble into the center of the circle before making any measurement on a leveling staff this is a leveling staff you can imagine the leveling staff as a ruler long one like three to five meters long it's graduated at one centimeter intervals like here each square of these squares is one centimeter the red one one centimeter the white one one centimeter one one etc and these numbers represent the distance from the ground let's say that this is mount this is placed on the ground here to this point in this case it's the 
9 meters okay so these numbers refer to uh, the distance from the ground to a specific point on the leveling staff and all of our readings on the leveling staff guys should be done to a 1 millimeter accuracy 3 decimals so when you look through the telescope you will see something like that you will see crosshairs like that long one in the middle little one here little one here for leveling we are going to collect our readings relative to the middle line and the upper one and lower one can be used for different aims like calculating the distance but this is not our focus today we are going to focus on leveling when you hold the leveling staff it's very important to make sure that the leveling staff is vertical to the ground and you can do this by swinging the staff forward and backward then using the smallest reading and also some staffs have a built-in bubble so that you can make sure that they are vertical to the ground how to make a reading on a leveling staff this is very important so let's take this example let's say that you have sighted the staff when you look through the eyepiece and then you will see something like that this case one let's call it what is the reading here it is very simple first we are going to write down the number that we have here as it is in this case we have 1.0 that means that the distance from here from this line to the ground is 1 meter exactly 1 meter in this case after writing down this number we are going to count how many centimeters do we have we agree that each one square is 1 centimeter so we have 1 square 2 and 3 we have 3 squares here so we have 3 centimeters we I'm going to write down here 3 so 3 complete sw squares so we have 3 centimeters and then we are going to estimate how many millimeters do we have in this case you know now that this is 1 centimeter this square is 1 centimeter and the middle line is somewhere here you are going to estimate how many millimeters from here to here yeah I can estimate this to be 7 or 8 I will say 8 okay meters and so this is the staff reading in this case okay let's take another example example 2 when you look through the telescope you are going to see something like that what is the staff reading in this case the first number the distance from the ground to this point is 2.2 .2 meters and then count how many squares in this case I have just one one complete square here I will write down here one and then estimate the location of the middle line it, it is to me now like about 9 millimeters so in this case it would be 2.219 this is the staff reading in this case the last example just try to practice this guys so that you will make sure that you understand how to make a, a very accurate staff reading because if your readings are not accurate all of your work will be at risk of repeating or rejecting uh, your project so this reading first I will start from here from the ground to this point is 0 0.8 and then I will count how many centimeters do I have in this case I have one two three centimeters I will write here three and then I will estimate the location of the middle line in this centimeter it is to me in the middle exactly in the middle of this centimeter I will write down here five meters so this is the reading in this case 0 0.8 835 that means from the ground to this point here it's 0 0.835 less than 1 meter yeah so this is how to make an accurate staff reading the staff readings have different names and it would be very important to understand them 
simply I can simplify this by saying the first trading when you set up your level let's say that you have set up your level somewhere here when you set up your level the first trading should be made over a benchmark let's say this is a benchmark and this is called a backside reading and the last reading when you finish from this station is called foresight reading and between the backside and foresight any reading that you would like to collect for example here or here they are called intermediate site so again when you set up a level from any station the first reading is backside over a point with known reduced level the last reading is called foresight between them intermediate site now let's say that you have completed your work from this station let's call it station 1 and you are go going to move your level to a station 2 for example we will move the level from here to set up the level here station 2 when we set up the level the first reading is called backside the last reading is called foresight and between them intermediate sites and because guys in this case we have changed the location of the level from station 1 to station 2 after this point we will call this point a change point because we changed the location of the level so now let's read through the definition of each type of staff reading to understand them in a better way so the back side is a staff reading taken on a point of a non reduced level so when you set up the level the first reading should be made on a point with non reduced level and this is called back side the fourth side is a staff reading taken on a point whose reduced level is to be determined so in this case the fourth side I mentioned that the foresight is a staff reading the last staff reading from any station of a level you can call it foresight and the reduced level of this point is going to be determined because we are going to do some measurements from the benchmark we can calculate the reduced level of the intermediate side points and this point as well so its reduced level can be calculated the intermediate site is a staff reading taken on a point of unknown reduced level between the back site and foresight as I mentioned and finally the change point it's a point denoting the shifting of the level when we shift a level from station to station from station 1 to station 2 we shifted the level at this point for example and this could be called a change point okay so these are very important terms we are going to use them a lot from now on in the rest two videos I aim to produce two videos as well on leveling the first one would be on using the height of collimation method for calculating reduced levels and the second one how to check the accuracy of reduced level calculated using the height of collimation method as well finally for today guys I'm going to summarize the principle of leveling this the equipment used very simple the level mounted on a tripod and the leveling staff after you set up your level you will cite a point with no reduced level a benchmark and this reading is called back sight and then let's say that you are interested in calculating the reduced level of this unknown point B so we know A, it, the A is a benchmark okay and it's reduced level given here 43 meters point nine five zero and then we are going to calculate the reduced level of B using level so we are going to cite this leveling staff over A and then to collect the reading in this case the reading the back side is 1.050 let's move leveling staff to point B and then to collect the reading here 
and this is the reading in this case is 0 0.395 now the difference between these two readings between here and here is 1.050 minus 0 0.395 which is 0 0.655 so this difference is 0 0.655 meters so we started from here guys this is point A we know that the reduced level of A is 43 meters point 0.950 and we aim to calculate the elevation or the reduced level of B which is this line so 43 meters plus the difference between them will give us 44 meters point 0.605 meters and so this is the reduced level of point B okay so we started from a point with no reduced level which is A which is a benchmark in our case and then we use the level to calculate the difference between the back side and foresight and then we were able to calculate the elevation or the reduced level of the unknown point so this is the principle of leveling that we are going to use in the next video for calculating a series of now reduced levels not just one number like here we are going to use the level to collect a lot of points and then to make a lot of measurements and calculations okay guys that was it for today I hope that was useful to you and uh, as I mentioned there would be a couple of videos on leveling and also on leveling applications like how to draw contour lines how to draw topographic profiles etc. Thanks again and bye now.